let's start uh, with some introduction to glycolysis so this is the glucose in the interstitial fluid outside the cell and this circle that you see over here this represents the cell so everything inside this this one is the cell inside and this one is outside the cell so the glucose from the interstitial fluid will diffuse inside the cell so one of the first thing that happen once it diffuses inside the cell a phosphate will be attached to carbon number six so if you look at it carbon one two three four five six to carbon number six a phosphate will be attached to it so this phosphate is attached to carbon number six uh, one of the first thing that the cell enters the cell where did we get this uh, uh, phosphate to attach it to the cell now remember we used ATP here uh, one molecule of ATP has been used and has been converted to ADP so this is an ATP molecule ATP consists of one phosphate two phosphate three phosphate so the ATP molecule has one two three phosphate if I take this phosphate and attach it to this carbon molecule this molecule will be left with two phosphate so as a result an ATP with three phosphate will be converted to ADP so what we did is we took the ATP and we converted to ADP so a three phosphate molecule now it has a two phosphate molecule so what happens next uh, the next this molecule will add another phosphate to carbon number one so another phosphate is added to carbon number one so we, as a result we have one phosphate attached to carbon number six and one phosphate attached to carbon number one and uh, we get uh, fructose 1,6 bisphosphate this six carbon molecule will be split into two three carbon molecules and each of these three carbon molecules will go and become uh, uh, pyruvic acid so as a result you're going to produce one pyruvic acid from this molecule so what happens now uh, as a result this pyruvic this three carbon molecule becomes goes through the steps and becomes pyruvic acid over here and this three carbon molecule first changes to this molecule and then as a result this also goes through the steps and eventually becomes pyruvic acid so as a result this six carbon molecule split into two three carbon molecule one two so this six, car six carbon molecule becomes two three carbon and each one of them will become pyruvic acid as a result this will produce two pyruvic acid one two so we have the two pyruvic acid what happens in those steps in the very first step you see NADH NAD is converted to NADH because we have two three carbon molecule two NAD is converted to two NADH one by this molecule and one by this molecule so when this molecule becomes this molecule one NAD converted to NADH and when this molecule becomes this molecule one NAD is converted to one NADH so all together you have two NAD is converted over here so one two in this step two ATP is converted to two ADP one ATP by this molecule and one ATP by this molecule so we produce two ATP over here and in this step also when this molecule is converted to this molecule one ATP is produced when this molecule converts to this one and one ATP is produced when this molecule converts to this one so as a result you produce two ATP over here so all together two ATP here two ATP here and we used how many ATP over here two ATP so your total ATP production is over here what four so we produce all together four ATP we use two ATP our net gain is what two ATP and also we produce in this process two NADH so this is called glycolysis what is glycolysis conversion of glucose to two pyruvic acid molecule and what do you produce you produce four ATP in total two ATP net gain you use two ATP and you produce two NADH and this process takes place in uh, uh, the cytoplasm